Hi, David Sherwood here from NITOR. Today we're going to talk about the balanced amino acid profile and why it is so important. Now if you were to compare different food sources of protein such as beef, chicken, pork, or even whey protein isolate and other sources, you'll note that they all have a different ratio of these different amino acids. Protein is composed of these things. So there's essential amino acids that you have to obtain in your diet as they are. There's non-essential amino acids that can be converted in between each other. But these can't make these, so you have to obtain them in a the diet. So why are these so different? Those amino acids um, dictate what are in here. So when you eat like uh, 20 grams of protein from beef versus 20 grams of protein from chicken, there'll be a different amount of each of these amino acids. So beef might be deficient in histidine, whereas chicken might be deficient in some other amino acid and it won't meet all your needs. So these are all, you know, they're all protein sources might have be complete protein, um, but they're, they're always gonna not have the same ratio of amino acids. So um, I wanna bring to you an example about vitamins. You might have a friend who comes up to you and say, hey man, I got 20 grams of vitamins today. And you'll be like, what? And another buddy will say, I got 50 grams of vitamins. You know? And what does that really mean? We all know that you need so many grams of vitamin C and so many grams of, of vitamin A and vitamin D and vitamin B, you know, these are different B vitamins. So when somebody comes to you and say, I got so many grams of, of vitamins, that doesn't mean anything. It's because we know that it's the ratios of those vitamins that matter. Protein is the exact same way. Protein is composed of individual building blocks called these amino acids. And so when we judge the quality between these different protein sources, we need to pay attention to, well, how many grams of, of these different amino acids are in there? And exactly, well, how many do we even need? What is the measuring stick that we judge the quality of these different protein sources against? Shouldn't that measuring stick be the human body? That measuring stick that judges the quality of the protein sources we eat should be the human amino acid profile that the body needs, right? So that's why balance is so important. Now if we take this example to say a 40 gram dose of protein we take, well a lot of guys do this much at the gym, um, when your body starts to break this down into these individual amino acids, it will take them and build them into chains, protein chains, for building muscle. And it'll draw this color for amino acid and put it there and then this color goes here and that color goes there and you go through. And you start selectively pulling out the amino acids out of that jar, bringing the level down and you'll make chain after chain after chain. And when you get to this chain, you might be deficient in this pink amino acid because you used them up here and you ran out of them in this jar. You, you selectively pulled them all out. So what happens to this chain? It gets aborted. You don't make it. It slows down your growth, slows down your recovery, and you actually end up having to metabolize and get rid of this. But not only do you have to get rid of this, if you have another 20 grams of amino acids left that you ate, what do you do with all these? You can't use them. Your body cannot store protein. It can store fat, you can store a limited amount of carbohydrates, but the protein you can't store. So your body will actually um, metabolize and urinate this out. And so if you think about it, this 40 gram dose of protein you took, half of it could end up in the toilet. So the money you spent, you're peeing into the toilet. Even the, the king of the, the protein world, whey protein isolate, is about 67% or more deficient in a specific amino acid or more. So two thirds of it, you end up peeing into the toilet. There, there goes your money, right? That's why balance is so important. Balance the balanced amino acid profile should be balanced according to the human amino acid profile needs. And that's why it is so important in one of the five pillars of NITOR protein.